One year ago at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships, Jason Gatson was finally ready to emerge from the shadow of national champ Blaine Wilson, whose skills were as dominant as their friendship strong. In the preliminaries, Gatson claimed first place, and that was a headline in the sport. But then, only one routine from a happy ending. Gatson dismounted the high bar. freak things you know I did a great high routine I felt it was like one of my better routines and then you know I just landed funny on the dismount and my knee was thinking otherwise inside the knee the anterior cruciate ligament had snapped in two and just like that a lock to go to the Olympics had been dealt a major blow well this is gonna make me stronger and I'm gonna get it fixed and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be on that Olympic team and we're gonna go to Sydney and we're going to bring back a medal to the United States. After surgery came the lonely rehab, filled with pain and doubt. All along, Gatson repeated, he will do it, in spite of what the calendar said. It's always been a dream of mine, winning a medal and standing on top of the podium. It's always been a goal. Just all the stuff I've been through and I know what I've done, I'm gonna rely on that, you know, when I show up to competition. This year in competition, after nailing the high bar routine that did his knee in, Gatson's head and upper body did not respond. Major mistakes on parallel bars, pommel horse, and vault have put his dream for Sydney in serious doubt. Worked too hard so long for this, you know, to make the Olympic team. I just, I don't want to fall short of that, and I don't want to give that up. Winning the USA Gymnastics Championships here today at the Kiel Center in St. Louis is not on the mind of Jason Gatson. He simply wants to keep his Olympic dream alive. To do that, today is the day he's got to have all six rotations click. To make the Olympic trials later in August and to keep the thing for Sydney going, he needs to finish in the top 14 places today. Right now, coming in after the preliminaries, he's in 19th place, more than a point behind. Hi, everybody. I'm Al Troutwick, along with former Olympians Elfie Schlegel and Tim Daggett. Quite simply, can he pull this off? Well, I think he needs to have the meat of his life, and frankly, I don't even think that'll be enough. He also needs some of the athletes that are ahead of him to falter today and to complicate matters even worse. He said he woke up this morning, knee felt a little bit strange, looked out the window, it was raining. He says that always makes his knee a lot more sore. All right, Elf, you saw him in practice. How did he look? Well, there was absolutely no physical training going on for Jason. He sat on the floor mat with an ice pack, and he was practicing some mental imagery for the task ahead. Well, Jason didn't want to discuss his status in these championships, but his coach did with Beth Ruyak. Beth? Thanks, Al. Coach Ron Brandt is used to seeing Jason every day and every night. And before a meet, it's his routine to look into Jason's eyes. He says that's the way he can gauge the performance. Well, he did. He checked in with us a few minutes ago and said he saw alertness and concentration in Jason's eyes different from during the preliminaries. We got a few words also from Blaine Wilson. Now, Blaine's used to having Jason on his heels for a championship like this. And he said, don't forget, Jason is a scrapper. Back to you, Al. And Beth, he will have to be here today. Now, Ron Brand is the perfect source to tell us whether Jason's on or off, because he's been with Jason just about every day for over three years. One more time. There he is on the left. Now, Tim, Elfie, you know, you look at the standings, you play the numbers right? game, he's got very, very limited margin for error, almost none. And, you know, this might be a good event for him to get started on because he can get this one over with. And where he struggles on the still rings is the strength part. So this is the first thing he's got to do, and he's at his strongest right now. Struggled a little bit the other day. You see, he's a little bit high on that first plant, and that is, that's very high right there. Should be totally horizontal. The arm should be parallel to the floor on that inverted cross. No problem on this, I'm sure. Beautiful swing element. Gets lots of bonus points for that combination. Little bit of swing there. Like I said, this is not one of Jason's 
biggest events. If he can just get through this, he should be doing all right. That's, that's, not, a, that's not an awesome routine for Jason, but that's not going to dig him any deep hole. I'm a little mystified by Jason's problems here, Tim. You know, it's the knee, and there he sticks the landing, and his upper body, which has been so famously strong, is failing him here. And, you know, during this rehabilitation, Jason has spent so much time on these strength parts, and frankly, they just haven't come around quite good enough. All right now, the score that he gets is 8-9-5. You know, it, it looks really low, and yes, it's not a 9-5, but rings is the lowest scoring event by far in men's gymnastics. That's not too bad for Jason. Now we go across the floor here at the Keel Center in St. Louis, Missouri, for Sean Townsend. From Texas, this 21-year-old is having a fabulous week. He's in second place right now after the preliminaries. And he says he's in the best shape of his life. This is a big-time vault. It's worth a 10.0. Three times around. <laughs> Better than the other night. I, that, that was amazing. The, most of the gymnasts that get this vault around, they are staying tough and just squirming and fighting to the bitter end. And you know, Tim, he's gotten consistently better with this vault. He actually opens his body up right there. That, that's a great ball. He's gonna get a huge score. Should anyway. Yeah, you're not kidding. Listen to the crowd. 9.85 for Sean Townsend. He's gonna put some pressure on the leader after the preliminaries, Blaine Wilson. Next up on ball. Jason Gatson dealing with it. Trying to keep that dream going somehow, some way. Still to come here on NBC, Blaine Wilson going for a fifth straight national crown. Back in St. Louis, here are the scores that were carried over from the preliminaries into the U.S. Gymnastics Championships Finals here at the Keel Center. Top 14 go to the Olympic Trials. These scores count for 40%. The Trials, 60%. Top four, when this is all said and done, go to the Olympics, plus two others that are selected. Here's Blaine Wilson, the four-time national champion. Blaine told us he thought he'd win this competition. Actually, I think he promised us, didn't he, Alfie, that he said he'd win it by three full points over second place. I'm going to need to be down near perfect for that to happen. And right, right off the bat there, didn't look like a big mistake, but he kind of bailed out on his one-and-a-half twist. Only did a half twist, and that is a four-tenth subtraction from his score. Right now, he leads by a little over a point. Well, it's certainly not going to be enough to take him out of the lead, but those are mistakes that Blaine is not going to be happy with. Yeah, in his words, he said he didn't want one of the youngsters beating him out in this competition. He also said that he was at about 95% heading into this event, and he, he really needs the Nationals and the Olympic Trials to feel set for Sydney. Those are his stepping stone meets. Both listing double somersault right here. Unusual hop again. Well, some might hear Blaine Wilson say he's going to win this thing by three points, and they said, well, that's awful cocky, and that's one of the charms of Blaine Wilson. He's cocky, he's confident, and has got the skills to back it up. Now watch this very intricate tumbling pass. We'll see it quite a few times, but that's supposed to be one and a half twists. You see the look of disgust in Blaine's face because he actually does both of those passes extremely well. Well, very low, 9.05 for Blaine.